Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Yeah, this one makes me laugh a bit because I'm doing something different in this one. I normally cover a lot of bigger games, but I'm covering some cheap and dirty Platinums in this one. Basically games you buy just for Platinum because who would buy these games? I'm sure some people do, but I just find it hard to understand why. Yes, I will be getting six Platinums in seven minutes. Once we get going, there's literally trophies popping constantly for about five minutes in this video. And yeah, when I bought these games, I did have a question my life for a second. My life did flash before my eyes for just a little bit. Just a little bit, guys. But you'll see after the intro, six Platinums in seven minutes. So on to the embarrassing games I'm going to play. So we've got a slide here, 99p only, and you can only get this on the EU store, I think, or it may even be UK. It's not available in the US. Road Bustle, 79p, another cheap, embarrassing platinum. These are very, very quick platinum guys in these games. You've got this one, Sakura Succubus. This one's quite expensive, so... I, mean, I don't recommend any of these games, but definitely not this one. Surprise, try and get it when it's in the sale. But that's PS4 and PS5. And same with this one, Legends of Tally. Same sort of game as the last one. And this one is PS4, PS5 as well. So two Platinums when you get this, because each console has a separate stack. So them games will give you two Platinums. Right, so here we go. It begins. Six Platinums in seven minutes. So we're doing Legends of Tally first, Arcadia. These are all fairly straightforward. I will tell you how to get plans quick if you want to go through this yourself. Slide, you have to, it's a puzzle game, but you have to know the sequences to get them right and I'll share them with you when we get there. So Legends of Talia Arcadia. Yeah, so um, check your language, preferences, you want to put text speed on max, auto forward time on max, and on skip, you want to click every box there, because what that means, when you press skip, it will skip all them different commands you press r1 on screen basically that's it <laughs> you've got you've got platinum that's it just press skip and you got platinum it will take i mean this takes what about 60 seconds this game if that and if you want your trophies to appear on your profile quicker like the the time between them quicker you need to turn off your notifications so i think having trophy not notifications on makes it so your trophies actually there's a delay between each trophy on your timing but yeah if you turn off notif notifications they'll sort of all pop instantly on your timeline so if you want them to look quicker do that but it's nice to see the trophy spot this is all it's going to be like for the next five minutes now just trophies constantly popping so i'm just on the ps5 version now like i say you've got a ps4 version when you buy that it's sort of cross by you get both versions and it'll give you both trophies uh, both platinums for both versions people do people buy these games to actually play i know a lot of people do like this sort of anime style with um <laughs> wave fees, whatever you call them uh reading them but really <laughs> I think after this, I'm going to go and sit in the corner for about an hour. Go and reflect on my life. So, it's still popping the trophies from the last one. <laughs> it's still popping trophies from the last one. And most of these trophies pop pretty good in these games. I mean, there's not really any problems with trophies not popping X until we get to Road Bustle. There's a problem with Road Bustle, but I'll explain that when we get there. So, we're on to the other one now, Sakuru Succubus. And this is the same as the last one. you got PS4 and PS5 cross by and the trophies will pop on both you just get them on one switch versions get them on the other and the same in the options activate unseen text after choices and transitions to script uh, skip max out the text speed and the auto forward speed then when you start just press skip r1 now there will be dialogue options on this when one appears just press up on the d-pad and then press x to pick one i don't think the option matters if you want to be safe, just pick the top options, that's what I do. But I don't think the option matters, and I'm not going to spend time checking what happens when you choose a different dialogue option. I've got a better things to do, like get platinum on the other version. Yeah, so yeah, are these pictures? I don't know. <laughs> you know, you'll, you'll have to let me know if you like this, <laughs> this type of video. Uh, this is what, six platinums in seven minutes? Just think, I could... As I progress, if I if I keep doing these videos, we could get 
20 platinum, so 30 minutes, maybe 50 in an hour. So I could take this to a lot of places. Yes, it's not going to be fairly difficult or um, enjoyable games, but there'll be a lot of platinums popping all over the shop. Uh, so we're on to Sakura Succubus. 300,000 likes. This will probably get that many, but dislikes. So we're still popping the trophies from the previous games. And when we get into Road Bustle, what I find in Road Bustle, if I pop every trophy as quick as I can, they'll always be two that glitch out. I, d I don't know why, if I pop them as quick as I can, there's always two or so that don't pop. I normally have to go back in the game and do it again. So, well, <laughs> that, that picture where she just sat there and you s under the camera's underneath a groin. What? what? <laughs> why? <laughs> but, um, yeah, Road Bustle, some, some of the trophies... They do not pop if you go too quick, so I go through the trophies in my bustle a little bit slower, but it actually does save time in the end because I don't have to play it again, even though it's a quick platinum. Um, but we're just about at the end of this. Why is it showing us pictures of their behinds and the cleavage and stuff? Okay, people enjoy it, I get it. <laughs> but it's $7.99 for this. Hey Mr. Cameraman, object of desire, these names. I hope nobody plays us with bloody tissue nearby. Wow. I hope not. Wow. Okay, so um, on to Road Bustle now. Yeah, so finally got rid of them bloody um, story games. Wow, basically like an interactive novel. Okay, so Road Bustle. Basically, when you run forward, your score increases and all you need to do is come down to this building. That's it. Just keep doing that. Up to up to 10,000, there'll be a trophy that pops on every thousand you get. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, etc., etc. There'll be a trophy, but when you get to 10,000, a trophy will pop every 500. So 10,500, 11,000, 11,500, 12,000, so on, until you get to 15,000, and then the last one will pop on 16,000. Now, I don't know what happens with this, but if you pop the trophies too quick on this game, they some will glitch out. So. You can see me on pausing between each like trophy milestone. So between each milestone, what I'm basically doing, I'm waiting for the trophy before to pop before I trigger the next one. So you see, you see I wait for 7,000 pop then before I went to 8,000. And I'm gonna do the same with 9,000. Well, sorry, 10,000. So I'm gonna wait for 9,000 and then we're gonna go up to 10. And then once you get over 10,000, they pop much quicker, so you do definitely have to make sure over 10,000 that you wait for the trophy before it to pop. That's all I did, and it all they all work fine when I do this. If I wait for the trophy before it, uh, before it to pop, before I pop the next one, they all pop fine. But if you don't, you have to play a game again, and what you find, once you get over 10,000 score, when you restart, your score will already it will reset back to 10,000, not to zero. So if there's any trophies under 10,000 that didn't pop, you may have to delete your save to get them. I don't know why I'm explaining all this on a 79p game, but there it is. So we're on 13,500. So there's about five trophies left to pop. Like I say, once you get over 10,000, it's every 500 that they pop. And yeah, just keep running into this red building. Sometimes if you move, the score stops counting and then all you need to do then is run back and then come back on yourself and normally it will start going up again. So one more trophy and then there, there is no trophy for 15,500. The next one it will go 15,000 then 16,000. And on to the last one guys, slide. So for slide, basically there's four different variations you can get. Basically on any map there will be four different variations. Oh no, the trophy's going to stop popping, I need to be quick. There's a little break here. Yeah, so any map, there's four variations and it depends on where the gap is. If the gap is in the top left corner, bottom left, bottom right or top right, it'll be different variations. So what I'll do, I'll put on screen what commands you need to input depending on where that gap is. And then all you need to do, you need to play on medium or hard. If you're playing EC, you're not popular trophy. So play on medium or hard and wherever the gap is, the space when you begin, just put in the relevant button combo and once you complete the puzzle, all the trophies will pop. Wait for the trophies to pop on this. I found if I quit the game too quick, some trophies will stop. There we go. All the trophies are going to pop. And I don't know why they've got military names. <laughs> I don't know why. 
This is training now for the military, yeah, in the UK. This is what <laughs> what game we have to play to get through boot camp. Uh, one of the puzzle games increases our IQ to um, from 10 to 15. But yeah, that's it, guys. Seven, well, sorry, six platinums in seven minutes. About approximately seven minutes. I think it may be a little bit over. But yeah, uh, I've got six games here. I'd love, I would love to keep doing these and um, get to a point where I can po possibly get like 50 or so platinums in an hour where I can just go for an hour and there's literally trophies popping constantly for about an hour. I don't know if I can keep myself um, entertained that long on you guys but um, yeah that's where I could take this sort of series of videos if you guys like it. If you do like this let me know in the comments guys and let me know what you think of this if you want me to keep doing something like this and um, yes I'll leave it there. Wait, Just waiting for the platinum to pop. Yeah so just make sure you choose medium or hard when playing this. Master Sergeant, where is my Platinum, Master Platinum, whatever they're going to call it. Yeah, this one's only EU. I think there is a North American game where you can pop every trophy very quickly, but it's got about 50 trophies in it now. I can't remember the name, but I don't think that's available in the EU. Uh, but that's it, guys. Yes, and when you come on slide, when you're picking a picture, it doesn't matter what picture, by the way, do not spam the button when you pick one, because for some reason, if you spam the button, this happens. And how it look, you're supposed to solve the pu puzzle like this. I don't know why this happens. If you just spam the button, it all just gets rearranged like completely wrong. And <laughs> that's pretty funny trying to solve the puzzle like that. Um, yeah, but that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.